Hi, thank you so much for joining this talk on engaging farmers with tailored information. My name is Colin Weigel. I'm at the California Air Resources Board, but this is work that I did in my position with Johns Hopkins University and the Nature Conservancy. It's joint work with my colleague Sheila Reddy of the Nature Conservancy. Farmers are difficult to engage with, but oftentimes that engagement is the first step towards conservation. Uh, and even when we're running experiments on conservation programs, testing how a new program might be more effective than an old one, uh, often we want to do a two-stage recruitment method where we try to engage a group of farmers or landowners and then randomize them into the uh, experimental arms. So in recent work that I did at the Nature Conservancy, we had about a 10% response rate from landowners. This meant that we had to send 36,000 landowners messages to recruit a sufficient sample for the downstream experiment. And uh, that's very costly. So here you can see that even a small increase uh, going from 10 to 11 or 12% uh, has a, a large relative effect size and could be really meaningful in terms of power or costs. So tailored information, by that I just mean making information somehow more personalized to the recipient. Why might this be effective? Well, uh, for one, the information is more relevant and perhaps more useful, but also if you're receiving a mailing, it could look less like bulk or junk mail, uh, so you may be more likely to at least read what it says in the first place. Uh, why might tailored information actually not improve response rates? Well, it could look intrusive. If uh, someone knows something about me, I may be more reluctant to give them more information about me. On the other hand, if no matter what, I'm just going to throw a bunch of uh, mail into the trash if I don't recognize who it's from, then uh, it might not be effective. And, and because tailoring information is costly, it's therefore not cost effective to tailor the information. So we're going to test tailoring information in a field experiment. We sent messages to about 3,000 farmers in Iowa in the context of information and a survey on erosion practices this being in particularly erosion prone watersheds in Iowa. Uh, we test either, we test the tailored versus the generic message uh, and measure the response rate to the survey. So here's the outside of the mailing for the generic or state level treatment, uh, which is an image of the state of Iowa with statistics uh, using the state level information on erosion. For the tailored information version, here we see the uh, county in which we uh, have a HUC 12. So HUC 12 is about 40 square miles. Uh, so it's not the exact location of the farm, uh, but it, it's relatively small. So hopefully here, the watershed level information is more relevant to the farmer. And uh, by showing this image on the outside of the mailing, it will hopefully look less like bulk mail. So here highlighting the differences between the treatments. On the left, we have generic, which shows the uh, the state level image and the state level information. On the right, we have the tailored information, which shows uh, the, the county and the HUC-12 highlighted within that county, as well as the HUC-12 level uh, statistics on erosion. For our outcome, we're measuring response to the survey, either the online survey uh, or sending back a physical uh, survey that was mailed to them. About 90% of responses were the physically mailed survey. The mailing, again, was sent to almost 3,000 Iowa farmers, so assuming a 10% response rate, we conduct an a priori power analysis, showing that we have pretty reasonable power to detect a 25 to 3 percentage point effect size. The results show uh, a very good response rate, about 15%, uh, but we see that it's higher for the HUC-12 tailored information group than the state level group. Uh, we check this with OLS or logistics and find a, uh, a significant increase. So what can we conclude from this? We conducted a well-powered experiment testing if tailored information increases engagement amongst Iowa farmers. Especially when populations are difficult to engage, small increases can have a large effect. And that's really important if we're doing downstream experiments uh, where those experiments tend to be underpowered. So getting a larger sample uh, is crucial. We find a significant increase in the response rate using tailored information, about a 20% uh, increase, about 2.8 percentage points in our case. There's no standard way to do tailored information, but if the costs are low or the value of engagement is high, then tailored information may be an effective way to meet goals. Uh, our research is not the final word. Uh, there's certainly more research needed uh, looking at different ways to tailor or at uh, different populations. So thank you so much for watching this talk.